Okie dokie, time for dinner. So I'm going to do something else today because I just got creative, I think. I'm going to do, we're having chicken wings for dinner. So I'm going to do a wings dry rub. And I'm going to make one for me and one for Jack. And that way we can roll our chicken and everything around it. And if I really like it, then I'll make it and, you know, keep it in my cupboard. I don't think I need my church key on there. <laughs> so we need a tablespoon. It says smoked paprika, but I don't have smoked paprika. So it will have to be just regular paprika. You can put the lids back on everything. How's that, Jack? We need a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. I was looking for all different ones and I thought, you know what, this one looks really good. So there's Italian seasoning. We need a teaspoon of salt. I hope I like it and then I'll just make a big jar of it to keep in the cupboard. A teaspoon of salt. And two teaspoons of black pepper. I cannot believe how fast I'm going through pepper. When you make your spices, you really go through a lot of it. One and two for you too. Jack. And we need a teaspoon of onion powder. I'm gonna have to grind up some more of that stuff, Jack. A teaspoon of onion powder. A teaspoon of garlic powder. And a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Oh, there we go. Now it's going to be all spicy and hot, Jack. I'm kidding. Mm. It won't be that bad. Alright, so there's that. Then we're going to mix them together. mine in just a second, Jack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is going to be just enough to do our chicken. <coughs> you know, you can do them barbecued. You can do them in your air fryer. You can deep fry them, whatever you want to do. And I thought this would just be something different to taste. Because we do it all the other different ways. Why not try something new? What the heck? Why not? All right. So, you can't see my what I'm doing here. I'm going to push you that way just a little bit, Jack. I'm going to open up your wingies. You still can't see me that well, but that's all right. So, I've got my bowl here, and I'm just going to roll my chicken around in it. Might have to do a double batch just to do my chicken. I'm kidding. I might have to though, seriously. <laughs> now Jack's chicken, that is something that um, came from the food bank. So that's what he's using. Mine I had to pay cash for at Kroger. <laughs> so but what they do at the food banks when they give you meat like that is, um, like we have Meyer here. And so if they haven't used something, they put it in a big freezer. And then they do a transport, which actually, my sister's husband, he does some of the transport for Meyer, And um, they go to a big warehouse, and then they distribute it to the different food banks. And that's how they get the meats that they pass out. Unless, of course, it's from the government or whatever. But when they've got it left over from stores, that's how they do it. So 
So we make sure that we don't let any of that go to waste, do we, Jack? Mm -hmm. You know what? This batch is going to be about just enough to do all my chicken legs. <laughs> Jack's doing that sighing again. <laughs> He, goes, he always tells me that's how I breathe. And I says, well, it sounds like you're disappointed when you do that. So, all righty. So I'm going to rub that one on because it's the last few little bits. <laughs> Something to play with your food. So this is what it looks like before it's going into the... Bring it up to you. Does it look good? Oh, it smells really delicious. Did you smell it? I can smell it. That smells good. All right. So we're going to put this in the oven, then I'm going to come show you what the second part of our dinner is going to be. <laughs> okay. So for the next step, I am going to use my cast iron pan because Tom said the potatoes are so delicious when you do that. So in my pan already, I have onions and potatoes. And actually, I'm going to add my some of my mushrooms that I made yesterday and I canned up Jack's using just plain mushrooms or just plain um, potatoes and that's it I decided I'm going to make mine creative why not it tastes bad oh well <laughs> I don't think so though so then I'm going to take some, move your pan over here, Jacko. I'm going to use some garlic powder. Okay. And I need the salt and pepper, Jack. So we're going to put some garlic powder on there. Because everything's made better with garlic powder. And I'm going to put salt and pepper on it. Ta -da -da. I've been thinking of Christmas carols, and I don't even like Christmas carols. I've been singing Jack, haven't I? Yeah. Weird. Just very, very weird. <laughs> Nobody said I wasn't crazy. But anyway, the secret ingredient is one candle. I could just do it with my church key, Jack. Your church key? The can opener. Did I put it away already? Yeah, yes, you did. I did. <sighs> So now we're going to open up our pan butter. And that's the secret ingredient. Let's go. You can put yours on the outer one. And I usually do. Yep. On medium. Because you want them to be done about the same time that your, um, that your chicken's getting done. If you home can your butter... I will tell you, make sure that you put it in the refrigerator in between using it. Because it will go bad. So, <clears throat> we're going to have the rubbed chicken, and we're going to have, I'm going to have potatoes, onions, and mushrooms. <laughs> but we'll be back when everything is ready to go and, and getting done, and we'll give you a, a quick snippet of what it looks like. Hello everybody. It's Monday. <laughs> I just finished working. No appointments today. That kind of sucked, but there's always tomorrow. So I am joining a collaboration. It's called A Great Pumpkin Recipe Exchange. And um, included is Mama Baird's um, Homestead, Cozy Cottage, BC Homesteading, and A Godly Home. And so it's in exchange since it's pumpkin season so that we can all, you know, get ideas from each other. So make sure you go look at those channels too and see what they've got. 
So what I'm making is easy cake mix bread, pumpkin bread. Who would have thought? I'm using a box of the super moist spice cake mix. You know, I've been learning. There's more stuff we can do with this cake mix than just cakes. You're gonna use a full can of pumpkin. You can use any brand that you want. I swear I had pumpkin downstairs, but Tom said he couldn't find it. So I had to look, go order one, I tell you. And honestly, I'm not a real pumpkin fan, but after doing those muffins for Carmen, I um, honestly had a whole new thought about pumpkin. <laughs> so you wanna mix this really good together. Spice cake smells amazing, totally amazing. And I just got pumpkin all over me. Now I'm gonna give it a quick stir to make sure I get all of it off the bottom and everything. I know I could use my stand mixer, but sometimes it's just not worth dirtying that much stuff up. So now it calls for also one to two cups of chocolate chips, so I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how many chocolate chips you really want, I guess. So let's see how many we get with a cup. I have to turn this sideways. Let's see how we do with that. Oh, it smells so good. Even if you're not a pumpkin fan, pumpkin when it's cooking and whatever, it smells so delicious. I think I'm just going to put just a little bit more in there since I know Tom doesn't like pumpkin at all. But he did eat those muffins. He ate the crap out of those muffins. <laughs> but he's like that guy in Jack is too that says, I don't like that. And then they'll eat it, and they'll be like, that was pretty good. This seems like an awful lot of batter for one, um, for just one loaf of bread. So then, you're going to grease your loaf pan really, really good. And you're going to pour it into your loaf pan. Oh, this smells really good. I think one day they'll be like the Jetsons and we can have smell a vision and taste the vision. But then think about how much food we'd have to actually make if everybody wanted to do a taste a vision of it. Looks like the stove is ready. Alright, so I'm just gonna flatten that out a little bit. Well, I hope it doesn't come up too much. Otherwise it might be a little bit messy. Alright. Oh, tastes really good. All right, and then you take a few more chocolate chips and just put it on the top. Yummy. Who doesn't like chocolate chips? I do. So then you're going to cook it for 50 to 60 minutes. So I'm going to cook this bread, and I'll come back and show you guys the results. I'm so excited. And there we go. There's the finished product. Doesn't that look absolutely delish? So there's our collab. Make sure you visit the other channels too. Have a blessed day. All right, here we go. There's Tom's plate. 
Will you try and burst the potatoes? Yep. Alrighty. Mm. It's potatoes, onions, and mushrooms. Oh, good. Well, now you gotta try the... <laughs> you can pick it up. It ain't that hot. I was waiting for you to get home. Hmm. What do you think about the seasoning? I got a nice white one. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Would you want me to do it again? Oh yeah. Hmm. That's my homemade seasoning. Hmm. Alright, now I'll try the banana bread. I mean pumpkin bread. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> and you don't even like pumpkin, do you? No. Nope. No. So what do you think? How was your dinner, honey? I'd give that one a 35. Alrighty. Kahuna approved, I guess. Kahuna approved. <laughs> you guys have a blessed night and be a blessing. Bye, Tom. <laughs> Bye, everybody.